I'm Louise DeWise for ABC News in London, and we're live here tonight from the city's first ever light festival. 30 installations made of light, sound, and digital effects by artists from around the world. And this one behind me is, is one of the installations called Garden of Light. And you can see gigantic illuminated plants that are supposed to bring a bit of tropical summer to the cold uh, winter nights of London. The event is free and it's here for four nights. And we're going to go inside and give you a little tour, show you what it's like. We're going to go and try to speak to some people here and ask them what they think of this incredible installation here tonight. What do you feel when you walk in here? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I agree. Feels, yeah, it feels like the spring is coming slowly, but really slowly. <laughs> yeah, slowly. It's quite, it's quite freezing today it, as is, well. it is very cold here tonight. Thank you so much and yeah, enjoy your well. evening. Yeah, you too. Okay. So these types of events and festivals already exist in other cities like Sydney, Berlin, but it's the first time that it's happening here in London. And what's interesting is that January is usually a very quiet time of the year in terms of events. Um, but it's also a great opportunity for the city to encourage people to get out and explore the city by foot. There are lots of people here tonight who are enjoying clearly um, the installation. <laughs> what you can't see is that it took a lot of planning to organize this event. Uh, street lights have been shut down, tube stations are closed down, and it's, it really took a lot to, to get this all together here. And the cool thing is that it's happening in iconic places of London. Uh, so right here, we're in Leicester Square, but there are other installations in Mayfair, in Westminster, in Piccadilly. And we're going to go now and go and see the other installations. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Louise DeWest for ABC News in London.